probably my first vlog that I'll be publishing, but I wanted to bring you guys along to all the activities I'll be doing in Los Angeles this week. I just got started with Pilates. I didn't bring you guys along because I didn't know if I was going to vlog, but I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. It's a beautiful weekend here. It's pretty warm. We just went through like a huge storm. It's just been raining like crazy. And so I thought, let's just go and enjoy the sun while we have it. I wanted to bring you guys along. I just got this new camera, which I'm really loving. I think it's really good quality. So I'm excited to start vlogging. I'm about to do my makeup and film a haul actually for YouTube. So stay tuned for that. It'll be like a winter haul that I've been accumulating all of the items for the past few weeks. And so I'm getting ready to get ready for that. Then we're going to head out. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. I just bought one of these zip things and I just used it for the first time yesterday. And I don't know if I noticed anything, but I've heard this is better than other brands that make something like this. It's supposed to be basically like lifting your face and just kind of giving you more structure to your face. I'll let you guys know how I like it. It's going to be part of the winter haul. I don't typically actually film doing my makeup or a reel or a short or something like that. But today I really didn't feel like doing that. I'm kind of trying to just change up my schedule in a sense that I want to film separately for when I do like a full face of makeup and then separately for what I do for YouTube. I just think that it's a little bit too overwhelming when I film a short and then I have to film like another YouTube video or like a haul video usually. And I just find it, it exhausts me a lot more and I think that if I break those two up seems better when I get into more of a swing of things maybe I can incorporate it again but I'm excited I think I'm gonna start vlogging again this Thursday because I'm going to get my eyebrows laminated which I've never done before and I'm so excited I'm doing this whole series with like feeling the winter uglies and trying to do a, like a glow up kind of thing so Stay tuned for that. I'm very excited because I'm ready to not feel the winter uglies. I love this refi uh, primer I'm going to put on some music and just enjoy the process on my own and I'll see you guys later. I sometimes just start my makeup and I have no idea what I'm going to do. It just ends up becoming so random and I think that's what's really cool about makeup is that you can just play with it and just make it whatever you want to make it and you just have fun with it so like I never go into I usually don't go into doing my makeup and be like oh yeah, this is exactly how I want to do my makeup I just kind of play around and kind of see where it takes me sometimes it's good sometimes it's not but I just think that's like the beauty of makeup you just kind of play around and have fun with it So this is kind of the setup. It's a little messy right now of my hall area in this corner and there's a little bit of natural light But then I also use this light that I just got a TML light. It's really nice and a bit pricey But I've heard such good things and it really helps make everything look really beautiful behind that is my 75 soft I used to have two lights, but I just thought it was so overwhelming and just too much to put together So now using this one light I think is just so much easier it just makes the whole process a lot easier but I was gonna wear this sweater but with the makeup I did I am going to wear the same one but in blue which you guys will see if you watch that video I don't know if it's gonna be published before this one probably I think I'll publish that video first so I'll link it below but this is the camera I use it's a Canon uh, I don't know what kind of Canon it is I link everything below as usual I had that camera for such a long time. That's what I'm about to do now, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, my girl math is that I just bought a dress for $250, but then I also returned $80 worth of makeup from Sephora, so the dress was actually only around $150.
today's Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so I don't have many plans other than just watching the game later, aka Usher's concert. This morning I went to Barry's. I'm doing the 75 soft, as I mentioned, and so that kind of entails going to the gym at least five times a week, maybe six if I'm really feeling ambitious, but I'm trying to just kind of slowly get into the routine of consistently working out just because it's really good for my mental health. And I'm also just trying to learn consistency in the process too. I feel like I'm someone that has a really hard time starting things. And so that's the challenge goal there. Today I'm about to film some reels or shorts or whatever short form videos. I'm recreating Kathleen Lights' birthday makeup. I thought it was so nice and so beautiful. It's like a purple shimmery look and I thought it looked really, really pretty. I'm just getting my makeup set up. I don't really have like a designated area where I can really film. We just moved into this apartment so I don't really have everything set up in a way that makes sense. I'm still looking to purchase a vanity that I actually just found from Ikea that looks really, really nice it's only like 160 so i'm just kind of working with what i have thought i'd show you guys behind the scenes of how i prepare again hopefully this is not like the norm for me because it does take me a bit of time to kind of gather all my makeup I assume a lot of people who do this full-time makeup influencers they probably have to go through the same process of you grabbing like everything you need in terms of the makeup look you're going for so that's kind of the process i'm doing right now i put them all in my day bed i like to actually face the sun around this time of the day the sun is like the strongest and it's just really really nice i just prefer natural light but i did buy the tml light that I use. Yeah, I thought I'd show you guys behind the scenes. Let's get started. I have everything there, which looks messy and it is. It's not a good setup. I definitely need to figure something out, but it works for now. I also hauled these yesterday. They're the self-love reusable mask. I'm so excited to try them. I'm gonna film with them. They're so cute. They have self-love on them. Yeah, let's get to it. I changed my top. I always film in this one. I just feel like Tube tops are so much easier. Here's the final look. I don't know if I'm like super happy with it, but I think it's kind of cute. Janessa Myrick's glittery stuff, which like Kathleen Lights used herself. I bought it because of her. It was hard to use. I think I need to still like try to figure it out. It's pretty easy to put together. I think it's like my setup too. I really need a desk just sitting on the bed, like trying to do it and then like trying to have my tripod stand is just really really hard let me show you guys what i'm talking about <laughs> set up here it's just not like comfortable sitting like that for half an hour either i think that's how long it usually takes me but yeah behind the scenes i did set up this table which is what i use with this light like i said i'll link this light below i might end the vlog here i think i'm gonna go to erwan and get a smoothie and then go get some groceries that we need for the week thank you for watching make sure to subscribe before you go i will definitely have more vlogs coming this is my first one so hopefully i'll get better I'm sure I will because you gotta have a growth mindset with everything you do. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.